Welcome back camping enthusiasts. In this video, we're going to be checking out the best two-person tents for backpacking that you can buy today. The best two-person tents for backpacking should meet a tricky set of demands. They need to provide enough space to be comfortable for two, while also protecting you from rain, wind, hail, snow and anything else the mountains can conceivably throw at you. On top of that, ideally they should also be lightweight, packable, low cost and quick to pitch. Our team of camping experts have spent hours researching and testing two-person backpacking tents. These tents are listed in order based on performance, quality and price, and there is an option for every type of camper. So if you're looking for the best two-person tent for backpacking, we'll have the product for you in this list. We've included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out to see which are in your budget range. Now, let's get on with the video. The fifth product on our list is the Mir Lanshan Ultralight Tent. The Lanshan has become very popular with campers and backpackers because it's lightweight, inexpensive, and reasonably well-made. It's a great option if you want to reduce the weight of your current backpacking tent without breaking the bank. This two-person trekking pole tent with a dual apex design that weighs 39 ounce. It is a double wall tent with a separate rainfly that weighs 21.6 ounce with guy lines attached and inner tent that weighs 17.4 ounce. It is constructed with PU coated Silmalon and requires two trekking poles and a minimum of six tent stakes to set up. The rainfly and the inner tent floor are seam tape but there are stitching holes on the rain five that require a minor amount of seam sealing if you intend to use the tent in the rain. The rain fly has two large side vestibules for gear storage. There are peak vents at the top of each vestibule that are backed by insect netting. When pitching the tent, you need to insert your trekking pole handles behind the peaks, where they are held in place with a webbing strap. Your pole tips go into elastic loops tied to the inner tent below the door zippers, so they don't get knocked away when you enter or exit the inner tent. The inner tent hangs underneath the rain fly with plastic hooks, so you can set the two up at the same time or separately. The inner tent can also be used as a standalone insect shelter and for stargazing. The size of the inner tent is pretty average for two-person tents, with enough width for two sleeping pads, although the tent is lightweight enough that it can be used by a single person who wants more space to spread out. Overall, it's a pretty decent tent for the money, and can be perfectly adequate for backpacking in good weather. While I don't think that the inner tent and the rainfly are that well-matched dimensionally, resulting in some billowing in the wind, the Lanshan 2 is a perfectly acceptable tent, as long as you're willing to do a little seam sealing. If you're looking for a good value, well-made, lightweight tent that weighs under 2.5 pounds, you'll be hard-pressed to find a better value. In at number 4 is the MSR Hubba Hubba NX2. The MSR Hubba Hubba NX is one of the best two-person backpacking tents. The Hubba Hubba combines quality, lightweight materials, excellent livability, and plenty of toughness to keep you charging through your backpacking adventures for many years to come. When it comes to the best tent brands, MSR are a company you can be sure will provide epic quality, especially when it comes to lightweight tents with a tiny pack size. As far as two-person backpacking tents go, this tent falls in the middle of the spectrum. It is not as luxurious as some tents, but it weighs significantly less. At the same time, it is not as small and cramped as some of the more minimalist ultralight two-person tents. For two people with two large backpacks, sleeping pads, sleeping bags, etc., there is plenty of room for personal comfort. The unique pole configuration maximizes headroom and elbow space throughout the tent. You can easily change clothes and maneuver about as needed. The body has two tent doors, mesh panels for breathability, and solid panels for warmth and privacy. Also, the rainfly easily rolls up for a killer stargazer view. The inner tent feels really spacious due to the fact that the walls are not tapered. Two large stay-dry doors help ensure water doesn't drip into the inner tent when doors are opened. These two doors basically function like little rain gutters. The two large vestibules are perfect for storing your backpack and keeping it dry. Furthermore, the bathtub-style floor with tape seams keeps everything dry and all moisture outside thanks to the epic floor fabric. My one and only complaint about the Hubba Hubba's inner tent design is the lack of pockets. It only has two medium-sized pockets at either end. Technically, the Hubba Hubba falls into the ultralight category. At just 3 pounds, 13 ounce, you hardly even notice the tent in your backpack. This tent comes with an ultra-compact compression sack, so it squeezes down into a nice tight log shape inside its stuffed sack. 
MSR is an industry leader with regards to tent quality. As all seasoned adventurers know, the feeling of being warm, comfortable, and dry in your tent wherever you are in the world is a truly priceless feeling. As soon as you get settled for the night in your hubba hubba, you are stoked, all smiles, and it is immediately clear that you made the right tent choice. The third product on our list is the Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL. Big Agnes Tiger Wall blends two of their best backpacking designs into one intriguing ultralight package. Among two-door and vestibule designs, this is one of the lightest tents on the market, with an impressive package weight of 2 pounds 8 ounces. All told, the Tiger Wall lands in a desirable spot. It's light enough to please ounce counters, but with enough space and features to not feel overly compromised. The packability is nearly as impressive as its weight. The thin nylon, mesh, and super light DAC poles with a minimalist hub all compress into the included 5.5 by 18 inch stuff sack. Ultralight tents almost always sacrifice interior space, but we think Big Agnes did a good job maximizing the small footprint of the Tiger Wall UL2. The head end is nearly vertical and opens nicely with the hub pole system. The sidewalls are stretched by a center ridge pole. This makes it easier for two people to sit upright. The walls taper aggressively downward at the foot end, and the squared off the bottom corners create a box-like area around the feet. All told, the Tiger Wall UL2 is very spacious for one and certainly is workable for two backpackers who prioritize weight above all-out comfort. The tent has a 15 denier floor and rainfly, which is extremely thin and should be treated with care. Big Agnes did increase tear resistance by adding a silicone treatment to the solid fabric, but you can't get around the fact that all materials are so thin they're see-through. If you're used to ultralight gear, this won't be a deterrent. But casual backpackers and those that are hard on their gear may want to steer clear of such an ultralight build. The Rainfly offers complete coverage, and we like the attached pre-cut guy lines on all sides of the tent. The single pole that runs from the middle of the tent to the bottom of the foot end makes the structure less sturdy and more prone to being pushed around by a strong gust from the side. One of my main complaints is its single door, which limits storage space for two backpackers and isn't convenient for getting in and out. On the inside, storage is good considering the minimalist ethos. You get one large pocket along the ceiling, as well mesh storage at the foot and two small pockets that can be accessed while lying down. The Tiger Wall has the clear edge and weight over other designs, but it can't compete in terms of interior space and durability. Remember that we have the links in the description for all the products mentioned on this list, so don't forget to check them out. In at number 2 on the list is the Nemo Dragonfly Ultralight Backpacking Tent. The Nemo Dragonfly impressed me right out of the gate. It combines the creature comforts of a freestanding tent while finding clever ways to minimize its weight. It offers ample headroom, gear storage pockets, and exceptional vestibules. With a superior design and high-quality materials, I think this tent will stand the test of time. The Dragonfly has room where it matters most in features that set it apart from other similar models. The two side doors are very large relative to the size of the tent walls. This makes it easy to roll in and out. Its shape is a little unusual, so it's not quite as easy to open them with one hand, but the inconvenience is minor. Where this tent excels, though, is with its storage space. There are two large individual storage pockets on each side, as well as a pair of light diffuser pockets that make reading at night a real pleasure. Then there is the massive gear loft overhead that can easily hold most any reasonable item you would want to stash for the night. There is also a massive amount of space in each vestibule for a pack, boots, another pack, and maybe a tent for your dog. This tent has a nice geometry and tension that keeps you protected from the elements. Its eight stake points and additional options for guy lines ensure that it anchors firmly to the ground in the wind. When pitched, the sides of the fly slope so the tent can't get broadsided by the wind quite as easily as some other models. For its weight, this tent brings some durability as well. Its 20D ripstop nylon floor and 15D ripstop nylon fly are trending towards delicate but still stand up to the regular stresses and strains of backpacking. We know that weight is the metric that gets compromised with each additional feature. However, the Dragonfly toes the line beautifully. Weighing in at just a nudge over 3 pounds, it is the best of both worlds. This is a tent that most anyone could take anywhere. If you regularly spend nights in the backcountry but want a single tent to do it all, the Dragonfly is an excellent choice. 
The best two-person backpacking tent is the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV ULMTN GLO. This is the latest generation in the ultralight copper spur line of tents, boasting increased interior volume and livability by integrating steeper sized walls into the inner tent. The result is an outstanding balance of comfort and function in what I consider one of the best three-season lightweight tents available today. The Copper Spur HV UL2 is a lightweight couple's backpacking tent with two doors and vertical walls for maximum comfort. Color-coded components and a freestanding design make it easy to set up. It weighs 2 pounds and 11 ounces, making it a good backpacking tent for two people who want to lighten the weight of their gear, but still want a tent with two doors, lots of interior space, and good ventilation to stay cool and condensation-free. The single-hubbed pole architecture and horizontal spreader wall create near-vertical walls that increase volume and livability. The doors of the inner tent are huge, allowing for easy entrance and exit. Two doors also means two vestibules, so double the space for gear storage and more room for you inside the inner tent. This tent uses a single hub pole structure with a horizontal cross pole, which creates a boxier inner tent, providing more room to sit up or dress without ever touching the mesh inner walls. It has spacious side vestibules that provide plenty of gear storage so you can store your trail shoes, backpack, and wet gear outside of the inner tent, but under cover. This is a fantastic, refined, and lightweight backpacking tent that's easy to pitch and loaded with features. The dual doors, large side vestibules, great ventilation, increased headroom, and vestibule storage make this a great tent for couples and a palace for one. It's a great tent for three season use and should be under short list. It's by far the most comfortable on this list. Thanks for watching. That's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you out in any way, please give us a like and hit that subscribe button. See you guys in the next video.